okay so hi dear students welcome to lecture 2 of module 5 so we have been discussing about the flat uh, about the belt drives right in particular we were discussing about the flat belt drives okay so we have seen the basic concepts related to flat belt drives now we'll go in detail in depth about with the design concept okay design procedure will will first first of all we'll see the basic design procedure used for designing a flat belt and after that we'll be solving a problem based on that standard procedure in the manufacturer's catalog okay but uh, before going to the design uh, you should know the certain design parameters so that means what are we designing right so uh, design actually so we uh, as we have already seen in our pre pre previous lectures uh, uh, or in starting from the design design of machine elements 1 itself Uh, by the term design we actually mean to find out the basic parameters or the basic dimensions of that particular component uh, be it rivet be it welding whatever it is we'll be finding the winding all the all the dimensions of the of the component right which is subjected to for a particular application it will be having we have to select a particular dimension okay the dimension is selected based upon based upon the kind of uh, the external factors which is acting on the on the material right uh, for example the power need which need to be transmitted and all right so here also we are going to find out the dimensions of a flat belt for a particular dimensions and the type of the flat belt okay type as well as the dimensions of the flat belt for a particular application right which is nothing but the power transmission okay depending upon the uh, the amount of power to be transmitted or the distance to be transmitted and all you will be selecting different types of belt okay so uh, so so what are those design parameters as far as a flat belt is concerned right so for that let us uh, see what are the basic parameters right so this is a simple example for a uh, flat belt okay as yes, you can see there are different layers okay so these layers are actually called plies plies of the flat belt fine right. now so uh, as i said uh, we'll be designing or we'll be finding out the basic dimensions from the figure itself it is very clear that all you have to find is the width of this one right so the first first thing that you need to find is a width of or or actually the, uh, one, one of the parameters that you need to find is the width of the belt so obviously the next one will be the length right oh, yes it is the length uh, it is a part of the diagram only uh, it, the flat belt will be extending to a particular length to some uh, longer length right so it is just a part so i have just shown that one for your understanding purpose right so uh, you need to find out the width plus length and and yes Yes, from the figure, it is very clear that you you should also find out the number of plies which you need, right? Which is the third parameter. Okay. Also, also you also need to find out the type of material or the type of belt. Okay. So these are the basic four parameters which you need to find out for designing a flat belt. Okay. Starting with the type of the belt. Okay. The different different we have seen that different materials or the different types of belt I have been using, and uh, so based on that we will be first selecting the type of the belt. Okay, then you need to find out the number of plies. Okay, depending upon the power to be transmitted, we'll find out the number of plies followed by the basic dimension, which is nothing but the width and the length. Right. So these are the things that we need to find out, or that is, these are the basic design parameters. Okay. Now, for finding these these parameters, we'll be going through a number of steps. Okay. Uh, to be exact, seven or eight steps are uh, are to be used to find out these parameters. So, so all other steps are are actually a path to these. to find in finding out this basic dimensions and number of plies and all right so let us move on to the design procedure right fine so the first step uh, so is a step by step approach so let us start this with first step by step right now uh, the first step is to determine the pulley diameter so okay, since your uh, your uh, flat belt is connecting two pulleys you need to find out the diameters of both the pulleys normally one of the diameter and the speed ratio or whatever it is will be given or speed ratio or the or the speed itself will be given okay uh, you will get a better clarity when we are dealing with a problem right so use the speed so in the first step you need you need to use the speed ratio equation and find the unknown diameter which is not given right so all other all three parameters will be given okay based on that you need to find the dimension of the other pulley So once you find the diameter, the next step is to standardize the diameter diameter value. Okay, to standardize, there is a standard table in page number seven point five four in PSG data book. 
okay so you can refer to that table and you may standardize the value we will see that uh, uh, when we are solving the problem okay we'll go to the page we'll select the value and row right so the second important step is to so the second step is to is to calculate the calculate the uh, rated or design load as per the formula okay as per the given formula and this formula mind you it is not the data book you need to uh, learn this formula it's very simple formula so uh, first step we have found the diameter and followed by the next step is to find the rated load okay it can be found out using this equation that is design load in kilowatt is nothing but a rated kilowatt into load correction factor divided by arc of contact factor into small pulley factor that is rated kilowatt into factor ks divided by k alpha into kd right now uh, so the rated kilowatt is actually is the is the power to be transmitted okay it is a that will be given in the question that uh, the gen the the design power that to be or the or the or the or the, or the power with the standard power as per the question which is to be transmitted in kilowatt is a rated kilowatt now the second value is a is a uh, arc of contact factor okay now to determine this arc of contact factor all you need to find is the arc of contact first of all okay once you find the arc of contact you can find the arc of contact factor okay now the arc of contact can be found out using this relationship and this relationship is given in psd data book 7.54 okay so once you find this arc of contact value just below this equation there is a standard table and from the table for the corresponding value of arc of contact you can select a standard k alpha value so that is also there in page number 7.54 just below this equation you can find that equation right now here you capital d represents the diameter of the larger pulley small d diameter of the smaller pulley and c is the center distance okay so once you have found out that one the next factor is actually load correction factor and small pulley factor so to find out this load correction factor you may refer page number 7.53 okay you'll get a better understanding once we get into the problem right now after that you have to find the small pulley factor actually this value ranges from 0.5 to 1 okay it depends on it it actually depends upon the diameter of the smaller pulley okay you may take any value between 0.5 to 1 that is not an issue right now once this is over you you can substitute all these values in the arc of con uh, sorry in the design uh, design power and you can find the design power but once you find the find uh, all the, all other factors okay so just substitute those values and you can get the design load fine so once you have found that you can select a belt actually there are only two types of belt you can refer the page number 7.54 in uh, data book and, uh, and from that page you, you, you can see that only two type one is fort 949g and the high speed 878g two types of belts are only there okay so you may select any of the belt depending upon the condition okay or you can select any of the belts since only two type of belt are there you may select any of the belt or in some cases your question will be specifying to select a high speed belt or a fort belt and all okay so depending upon the question you may select the belt value okay now uh, after that all you, all you need to do is to find the load rating in v meter per second okay so uh, it is actually to determine the load correction okay uh, since uh, it, depending upon the material you have selected depending upon the material you have selected uh, you need to standardize the load rating okay so for that there is a very standard equation uh, this equation you can find in page number 7.54 just below just below the material okay just below this uh, material you can find the value okay so using that uh, you can find out the load rating which is nothing but load rating is at 10 meter per second into into v by 10 where v is the velocity it's actually the axial velocity and that axial velocity you can found find it by using this relationship okay you need to multiply with thousand because we are converting it to meter per second okay because this one is load rating at 10 meter per second right so once you substitute these values you will get the load rating for that particular velocity okay okay now all these things we were doing is actually to find out the belt width okay 
because belt width is given by this equation that is design power divided by load rating into number of plies okay so in the previous steps we have found out this design power and load rating so these two values we have found only for determining this belt width okay so as i said this is one of the main parameter in the designing of uh, flat belt right this is one of the dimension of the flat belt which is nothing but the belt width so to find the belt width you should know you must know the design power and load rating and number of points okay so the design power we found out in the previous equations right so here using this relationship we found out the design load and similarly your load rating we found out from here right so these two values okay already i have put a star mark these two values we have already got right the remaining one is the number of plies okay so to find the number of plies okay which is also one of the important parameter right so to find the number of plies uh, i'll go to piece number 7.52 7.52 there at the bottom left corner you will be getting a table okay so there depending upon the minimum pulley diameter okay mind you it is a minimum pulley diameter and the given speed velocity which is the axial speed velocity uh, it, it is it is shown in the table okay depending upon the speed you may select the number of plies okay i'll show all these things uh, in the coming problem okay so what do uh, if you are using these values you will get the number of plies it will be 1 2 3 or 3 uh, 4 or something whatever it is you will get the value right okay so once you are done you may go to the calculation of the belt length which, which is your third parameter correct right? so it is pretty much simple uh, in page number 7.53 depending upon the conditions you will get different length equation correct right? uh, depending upon the condition in the sense that there are open uh, open belt uh, similarly there are closed belt and all so depending upon the condition uh, depending uh, depending upon the, upon the condition which is given in the question you can select the length equation and uh, you may uh, substitute all the values uh, in that equation and uh, you can find the belt length so once the belt length is found out you may find the belt pulley width using the standard relationship that is pulley width is nothing but belt width plus 13 once you find this one you have to standardize the value using the table given in page number 7.55 okay so this is it this is the complete procedure okay standard procedure okay now let me summarize this complete complete uh, procedure okay it may look lengthy but it is not it is very 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 simple procedure okay now uh, for summarizing let me use this diagram okay see okay so we have a flat belt okay so we have a flat belt so to de to design this flat belt all uh, all we need to find is the basic parameters and as, as i said the basic parameters one of the parameters is a width okay width in width the w other parameter is the belt length and next one is the type of belt and the last one is the number of plies okay so these are the basic parameters and to find these parameters we are using different equations okay let us see what are those okay so this is a one of the important one which is the width right now to find this width what we did was uh, uh the standard equation for width uh, and mind you it is not there in the data book and the, you have to uh, learn this equation okay these two equations uh, uh, design power and uh, uh, and the width equation these two equations are not there you must learn that equation right now the width is nothing but design power divided by load rating into number of plies right now Uh, so to find width you need to know design power load rating and number of plies okay to find the design power you are going to this equation which is nothing but design power is equal to rated kilowatt into these constants okay now these two constants you will be getting from the data book to get this uh, arc of contact uh, constant constant for arc of contact you know, you first of all need to find the theta value for that you have a standard equation once you get theta you will get k alpha and you may substitute the value over the okay so to find width you need to find design power and design power you can find using this relationship okay the second important thing is the load rating okay now to find the load rating to find the load rating actually you need to find the type of belt you, you need to select the type of belt right you will be selecting a type of belt now from that you will be correcting the load rating using this particular equation which is load rating at Uh, at that particular velocity is equal to load rating at 10 meter per second into v by 10.
correct again uh, if you know the minimum diameter and the velocity you can directly find the number of plies which is your next parameter okay so once you get all these parameters it is very easy to find the belt length and that depends upon the question condition whether it is an open belt whether it is a closed belt and all you may select the belt length so as simple as that it is very 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 simple now with this basic understanding uh, let us move on to the uh, on to a, a, an example problem okay and uh, while going to this uh, problem uh, please carry your data book with you so it will be easy for you to understand the step by step procedure okay so let us take a problem okay the problem states something like this you have an open flat belt drive connects two pulley sorry two parallel shaft okay an open flat belt okay this is one of the condition an open belt this is an open belt okay so that is one of the condition an open flat belt drive connects two parallel shaft connects two parallel shaft 1.2 meter apart that means the center distance is 1.2 meter okay the driving and driven shafts rotated 350 rpm and 140 rpm okay your rpm or the n1 and n2 are given okay and the driven pulley is 400 mm in diameter and the power transmitted is 1.1 kilowatt okay so the first important thing that you need to do after getting the question is just make a rough sketch of that sketch of the question okay so as as it is said it is an open belt right so first of all i am drawing an open belt system okay and the smaller pulley is uh, the, or the driver is running at 350 rpm and the driven is running at 140 rpm now so therefore this is your n1 and this one is your n2 okay and in addition to this one the diameter of this pulley is also given which is 4 450 Uh, 400 mm. Sorry, it is 400 mm. Right. And in addition to this one, the power to be transmitted is given, which is nothing but the rated power that is 1.1 kilowatt. Fine. Okay. So with this basic information, it is very easy to complete the first step. Right. The first step is to find the pulley diameter. Right. So the diameter can be found using the speed ratio equation, and uh, once you substitute those values, you will get the value d1 as 160 mm. It is very the step is very direct. You will get the diameter of this one. Okay, so uh, I hope you understood the question. You have to design an open flat belt drive. Okay, open belt system. Uh, so uh, in a way, all all what you need to find is the width of the belt, length of the belt, then uh, the type of material or the type of the belt and the uh, number of plies. Okay, that's it. Right. So for this particular belt, okay, all other details are given. So first of all, you found out the diameter. First one's diameter D1, and the diameter is 160 mm, right? 160 millimeter. Okay. So as per the design procedure, once you get the diameter, all you need to do is to standardize the diameter. For that, as I said, go to page number 7.54. Okay. So let us go to that page number. Okay. So this is the that page of the data book, as you can see from here. Okay. Now here. So this uh, go to this particular table. Okay, recommended series pulley diameters and tolerances, page number seven point five four. So from here you can check the diameter. Okay, you, uh, when you're moving like this, you can see that one forty. After one forty, yes, one sixty is there, which is uh, which is what we have found out, right? So uh, you can take the value directly. Okay, so that is the diameter. So I'm taking the diameter, which is one sixty mm. Fine. So once you get that value. let us move on to the second step which is nothing but the calculation of design power okay so design power we are finding out to determine the width right uh, so design power in kilowatt this is the standard equation rated kilowatt into ks divided by k alpha into kd correct right. now the rated kilowatt is given in the question as i said it is 1.1 kilowatt it is given in the question right now you need to take the ks value we'll start with the constants okay first of all let us determine the ks value and the ks value is nothing but uh, i will take it from page number 7.53 okay so let us go to page number 7.53 okay so this is page number 7.53 of your data book so here you can see a page where load correction factor ks okay it is not written over there you may write it as you may take it as it is only written load correction factor it is nothing but ks okay so there are different load correction factors starting from 1 to 1.5 it depends upon the different loading conditions okay so as nothing is given in your question you can you may take a steady load condition 
and the value of ks is 1.2 so i have taken steady loading condition and i have taken that ks value as 1.2 okay and write that condition whatever it is right right so the next one is uh, arc of contact factor which is k alpha right now to find k alpha first of all what you need to find is the arc of contact okay so to determine arc of contact you have a standard equation it is given in page number 7.54 okay so let us go to page number 7.54 okay so this is your page number 7.54 now as you can see at the top of this page you can see that equation arc of contact equation you can see it over here so arc of contact is equal to 180 minus this equation d minus d is the diameter of the larger pulley small d is the diameter of the smaller pulley and c is the center distance multiply it with 60 degree right so equate this value with uh, sorry now find out the value of this arc of contact okay so once you solve you will get an arc of contact value so just below this you can see a table for for this arc of contact value you can see some correction factor values okay so once you get the value just just check in which area or in in which region it is coming and select a value suitably okay now let us see what we have done over there okay now here uh, for once uh, one uh, they have found the arc of contact value as 168 degree and for 168 degree your k alpha value from the table is 1.04 that's it and the kd value as i said you may take any value between 0 0.5 to 1 okay on substituting those values you will get the design power right and the design power is given as 2 point and on substituting all those values and solving you will get it as 2.115 kilowatts right so this is it if we have found the design power okay which is the first step for finding the width right now the next step is to is to find or the is the selection of the weld as i said we have only two uh, types of weld okay we'll see that so let's go to page number 7.54 only the same page so here you can see there are two types of belt one is high speed and the second one is 4949 okay so there are two types of belt you may take any one as your uh, as per the condition okay if it is nothing is given means you may select any, any one okay so for this belt there is a standard value that is uh, if for high speed belt uh, it can it can it, it can take a load of 0 0.023 kilowatt per mm per ply okay so it can only withstand this much load if uh, for a higher load you need to take a 4949 which can sustain 0 0.0289 kilowatt per mm per ply okay so depending upon that you may take the uh, type of belt okay if nothing is given you can you can take any of the belt right okay so here we have taken high speed 878g uh, belting and its capacity as i said it is 0 0.023 kilowatt per mm per ply okay so the first important parameter is over that is your selection of belt has been completed okay so now depending upon this uh, you need to correct the load carrying capacity right so the next step is to find the load rating correction okay now as i said uh, so you can find this equation in the same piece that is 7.54 itself the load rating at v meter per second or uh, the standard equation is something like this load rating at v meter per second is equal to load rating at 10 meter per second into v by 10 where v is your axial velocity now axial velocity you can find it using this equation so it has been found and it has been found as 2.9 meter per second okay therefore corresponding to this uh, 2.9 meter per second you need to find the load rating right so one so if you substitute that value over here you will get the uh, speed of the belt as 0 0.00667 kilowatt per mm per ply okay so this equation you can find it over here on the same page you can see that uh, load rating at v meter per second is nothing but load rating at 10 meter per second into v by 10 okay now to determine v you have to use the standard equation 5dn by 16 into 1000 right so that is it so uh, with this your load rate load correction rating is also over. now this is the second step towards finding the width right so the next step obviously is to find the belt width right so belt width is nothing but design power divided by load rating into number of plies okay so to complete this one so we have already found the design power and the load rating so to find the width all you need is the number of plies okay
So to find the number of plies, let us go to the page number 7.52 of your PSC data book. Okay. Now here, uh, let us so let us go to that page. Okay. Let us go to the page number 7.52. So you can see at the bottom corner, uh, there is a table. Okay. The minimum pulley diameter in mm. So all these values, the the values inside here are the minimum pulley diameter values okay so we have got the minimum pulley, pulley diameter value as 160 okay our our speed value is 2.5 and uh, uh, that value is less than 10 so you just neglect that value you can directly take the number of plies depending upon the minimum pulley diameter okay so as you can see the minimum pulley diameter that we have obtained is 160 160 right therefore corresponding to this 160 the number of plies is actually four so directly select the value or the number of plies as four okay that's it so the number of plies so we've got the number of plies as four and the substitute those values you will find the width of the bell okay so as simple as that you will get the width directly uh, you, have, you have already found the descent power load rating and number of plies we have selected uh, using using your standard uh, sorry, uh, using the minimum diameter from the table in 7.52. Okay, now uh, once you get the width, uh, you need to standardize the width. Okay, for that, in the same page 7.52, you can see the same page 7.52, you can see the uh, standard widths. Okay, so depending upon this four ply, okay, if you have selected four ply, so with, with respect to this one, since it was 77 something or 79 something was the value which we got, so the next value is actually 90. So you can select the value okay uh, but when, whenever you are selecting just check whether it is coming under high speed high speed okay these sizes are available so one star represents uh, high speed and four two star represents high speed only and three star represents four only so depending upon this condition or depending just check whether the star is okay or it, 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 it is uh, satisfying your design condition if that is fine means you can take the value so here it is satisfying so you can take the standard value as 90 mm though for the width of the belt can be taken as 90 mm fine so once you have found the width as i said the next step is to find the length okay so all other parameters main parameters are over okay now the main uh, the only thing that is, that is remaining is the length okay now to find the length uh, as, as per the question it says the question says is you design an open belt drive system right so this clue is given in the question itself okay so there is a standard equation for open belt drive system you can see from page number 7.53 in your data book okay so from this page let us see okay so for the open drive your l is nothing but 2c plus pi by 2 to d plus d plus d minus d the whole square by 4c all these value you know is nothing but the diameters and the center distance okay now depending upon the other condition for example if it is a closed belt okay closed to drive select the next equation quarter turn drive means select the next equation okay so depending on the condition you need to select right so uh, similarly there are different other values also uh, if some uh, for some tricky questions you need to select these values check these values also so be familiar with uh, your data book page okay fine now so that's it uh, so with this uh, you'll get the length right and on substituting all these values, the length was obtained as 3300 mm. All right. Now, uh, with this, the basic, uh, with this step, your basic uh, flat belt pulley design is almost over. Okay. The only thing that remains is the pulley width. Okay. Now, to find the pulley width, all you have to do is add 13 with your belt width. So, you will get this value as 103 mm. But after getting this, all you need to do is to standardize the value. Okay. Now to standardize, go to page number 7.55. So in page number 7.55, there is a table recommended series of width of flat flat pulleys. Right. So from this table, you may select the value. For example, you can see uh, our value was one not uh, it was one not three, right? So okay, the value was one not three. So let us select the value very near to this 103. Okay. So next value for 103. Okay. That is 103. Uh, so very next value or the standard value is nothing but 112 mm. Okay. So the width is 112 mm. Right. 
So I have not written over the but you have to standardize the value and the standardized pulley width will be 112 mm. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is the basic design procedure for a uh, for a uh, flatbed pulley. It is a very very simple method. And uh, only thing is that while going with a problem, while doing a problem, uh, one one of the way in which a question a tricky question can be asked is uh, sometimes the question will be of the of the type that uh, both the pulleys are rotating in same direction. For example, uh, instead of uh, stating a cross cross belt pulley, they will say that both the pulleys are rotating in opposite direction okay and this can and, and both the pulleys can rotate in opposite direction only when it is connected in crossed belt pulley connection so in that case for length equation you have to select the cross belt pulley condition other things will be almost same okay that is it so follow this procedure the procedure is very 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 important and that's it thank you and uh, in next video we'll be dealing with your uh, design of v belt and uh, Design procedure for V belt and, uh, and also uh, a problem on V belt. Right. So, thank you and uh, learn this well. And uh, while doing this, always carry a data book and solve this problem. First of all, once you are okay with it, go with the other problems in your air work or whichever text is. Okay. So, thank you. Thank you, Anandu.